Hey everyone, good morning. It is cruise day. So it is pretty early here. It's about uh, 7.30 in the morning. I'm going to go up and grab some breakfast. Go down and grab some breakfast. I should say I'm on the fifth floor. So I'm going to go down and grab some breakfast. This hotel has been delightful. Um, I found it on line. It is a Marriott Town Place. I also found out that uh, with the Marriott program as a travel agent, this is one of like the nice things about being a travel agent sometimes, there's like a program where you can take tests and become certified and then uh, it'll add some points to your Marriott Bonvoy account. Um, and then once I start booking people into Marriott, um, I get uh, like a very small fraction of points for booking people in, but anything helps, right? And then obviously you get the full points when you book, when I book myself. So uh, that helped me get this room. Um, I think I talked about it a little bit. It was. It was basically free because I passed the test and I had Bonvoy accounts, uh, Bonvoy points already from me. So I wound up paying like $70 for like the taxes and, and those things that you have to pay for. Uh, but it's really nice. It's a, you know, there's two beds in here, which I don't obviously I don't need. There's a desk. Uh, I, there is a little kitchenette, which I showed uh, in the room tour, which you'll see in this video. But, uh, or yesterday's video, but it's really nice, uh, very, very quiet. And uh, they have free breakfast, and I ate some food last night. They had dinner last night, but you have to pay for that. I had a burger and just like fries. I went to a pizza place yesterday, story time, and uh, it looked really good. I looked it up online, it had like 4.9 stars out of five. It's like right across the parking lot here in uh, Cape Canaveral. And I, uh, sat down it was a little bit crowded but not like crazy crowded and i sat down and i sat there for 18 minutes and no one <laughs> acknowledged that i was alive so I, I thought it was a ghost um so i just left and came back and went to the bar here and had some food that's it so anyway getting ready to go eat breakfast then i'm going to come back uh get everything ready and head over to the ship around 11 30. they do have a shuttle here it's 10 bucks it's fine. It'd be ex probably exactly what I pay for an Uber. So I figure I'll try the shuttle. It'll be a good uh, learning experience in case anyone comes down here. So that's the deal. Let's go get on MSC Seashore and have a wonderful day. Let's go.
Hey everyone, little midday check-in here on board the MSC Seashore. So, a little chaotic at the port, just wanted to give you a little breakdown of embarkation so you have a good idea of what was going on. Weird day today, usually Port Canaveral for me is pretty smooth sailing. It's pretty easy to get into the port, it's pretty easy to check in, it's pretty easy to get on the ship. Today there was a real big backup getting into the pier, not that it was a big deal, I left my hotel at around 11.30. I did the shuttle, which I normally don't do. I normally come early. So I'm usually like an 11, 11, 11.15 kind of person. Uh, my check-in time is 12, so I'm not in a rush. I decided to wait and just come over at 12. So I got the shuttle from the hotel at 11.30. He let us know right away that it was congested at the pier. He had just brought people back. So we did get in. We got to the here by about 12. It's only a five minute ride from the port. So it took about 20 minutes to get in. Uh, he dropped us off right where you go up the escalator. If you've never been to Port Canaveral, you see in my video, there's a uh, uh, escalator to go up. There was like a huge line of like maybe 500 people to go up the escalator. I've never seen that before. Usually I come, I go right up and I go right in. Whatever, no big deal. So we get in line, you know, it's the normal people yelling and screaming, no one's following directions the normal uh, crew stuff. So we got up the escalator, we went through security, which was fairly straightforward, took about 10 or 15 minutes. And then uh, went to, I went to the diamond check and I have diamond through MSC, maybe 10, another 10, 15 minutes there and was checked in. Uh, when I checked in, the guy told me, rooms are ready. You can go right to your room, uh, enjoy the rest of your day and do whatever. So I got in, I came in, I went up to the room. The room's not ready. So uh, I went to have lunch. Again, no big deal, right? Just giving you all the facts so you know what's going on. Uh, went to the buffet, had some pizza, and then got came back here around 1.15. Rooms are still not ready. Um, I saw my room store and he said, go ahead, just go in. Uh, so I went in, got my key card, unpacked, did a little video of the room. It's now two. Usually do uh, the drill at like 1 30 that hasn't happened yet i guess they had a late late morning for whatever reason getting people off the ship so i'm just waiting to do the muster part of this and then go enjoy the rest of the day i'm going to Ola tacos tonight at six then we'll go to the shows afterwards we'll see what time the shows are i haven't even looked yet uh enjoy sail away before Ola tacos and all the other fun stuff that's here to come hope you are having a wonderful day it is a wonderful sunday here Let's go get into the rest of the day. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey everyone, John here from the future, giving you a little room tour. This is a standard inside cabin on the MSC Seashore. I had the Bella experience. So I did a guaranteed cabin. They picked this cabin for me. It was perfectly wonderful. As you can see, they are fairly new. There is only a USB port on the right side as you're looking at it. There you go, on that side of the bed which is odd for a ship that's only a few years old, um, but I didn't have any issues with that. There's plenty of power over by the desks, which you're about to see. The bottom right is the mini bar there, and then you have a really nice desk with tons of storage. There are several outlets there, and then as you can see, several adapters for European, or you could throw an adapter in there and use it as a US plug. Uh, and then as you can see, these rooms are really kind of spacious for an inside cabin. And you have a pretty nice bathroom as well. The shower area is very small. Everybody was complaining about that on the ship, just so you're aware. But I found it to be fine, slightly uncomfortable, but totally fine.
Hey everyone, early evening here on board the MSC Seashore Day 1. Heading out to dinner at uh, Hola Tacos and Cantina this evening for my diamond dinner. I didn't realize until right before this cruise that when you are diamond on MSC, you get one free specialty dining. So you could either do all out tacos uh, on the seas class ships. You could do all out tacos, uh, Ocean K, or Butcher's Cut. So I already bought the trilogy. So I'm going to do uh, all out tacos this evening, and then I'll have three more specialty dining along the way. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to head over to Le Cabaret Rouge, I believe. They do like three hours a night of like variety shows. So it might be some singing and dancing, comedians magicians whatever it may be so that show starts at 7 it goes to about 10 and then i am going to the 9 30 show in the theater so busy night this evening uh did a lot today watched a little bit of the sixers game they lost to the knicks congrats all the new york people uh so now i'm gonna head out and enjoy that and then i will check back in with everybody when i get back to the room tonight hope you're having a wonderful sunday and i will talk to everybody in a little bit bye Hey everyone, John here, end of day one. Was I already in bed and forgot to do this? Did I have to get up and get dressed again? <laughs> yes. If you answered yes to that, you are correct. I was already in bed. I completely forgot to do the end of night recap. It's all right, I just got in bed. So, uh, 
good day today. Like I said earlier, a little chaotic getting on the ship. Um, it is super windy and super rocky out right now, but it's not like the like seasick rocky where it's like up and down. It's like the choppy like waves are going everywhere. <laughs> waves are going everywhere. Oh, it's going to be a weird week. Uh, these cruises by myself, things get weird. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. So, um, but I do talk more. I do more of these little interactions because it gives me someone to talk to. So, fun day all in all. The show was, parts were good, parts weren't good. It's the same with all the production shows for MSC. Sometimes they're weird. Sometimes they're really good. The earlier show, the uh, female singer was really, really good in Le Cabaret Rouge. The magicians were weird, you know, it's the same as always. So they do that show every night in Le Cabaret Rouge, but they do different like acts and things. And it goes on for like three or four hours. Uh, they are doing a nightclub glow party down there. It didn't start till 1130. I am out. There's no way I'm making it till 1130. I went to the 930 show too, and there's no way I'm doing it. Tomorrow we are in Nassau. I did know that it was going to be a little choppy tonight. I saw the weather in Nassau tomorrow. It calls for super windy weather. So I was assuming it was going to be a rough, a rocky night. So I'm just going to go to bed, get up in the morning. We'll be in Nassau. Then we have a uh, sea day. Then we have a couple port days. It's supposed to be rainy in Puerto Plata and San Juan. Who knows? We'll see what happens. You know, down the Caribbean, it can rain for like 15 or 20 minutes. And then it could be sunny the rest of the day. So all in all, really good day one. All our tacos was fantastic. If you saw the food there, uh, my uh, server, Vernell, was from Dominica. She was awesome. Uh, I had some tacos, I had some guac, I had uh, some dolce de leche dessert, I had chicken tortilla soup. Again, I think if you're talking about specialty dining, I got I used my diamond credit, which uh, I, again, I said earlier, I think that I didn't know I got a free specialty dining until like a week or two ago with diamond. So that's great, I used that for tonight. Um, keep in mind, if you are on one of these Seascape or any really MSC cruise ship that has a lot of specialty dining, if you want to go to Ola Tacos, one, you can use the dining package, sure. It's not worth it, really, in my mind, to use a regular dining package for it. It is only $17.95. So it's $17.95, all you could eat. Um, to me, it's like one of the best bargains in specialty dining on any cruise ship. I love the fact that they have like a cheaper option for specialty dining, you can go, you can get some chips, guac, you can get tacos, burritos, uh, soups, desserts, whole nine yards. So um, just a little pro tip there, if you get on the ship and you're like, I wanna do specialty dining, but I don't wanna spend a ton of money, go to Ola Tacos and uh, enjoy it. I'll be back there on Wednesday night and uh, we'll have another great meal there. So that's it for today. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Right in the beginning here, I want to say thank you so much for watching our vlogs. It really does mean a lot to me. We spend a lot of time and effort uh, going on these cruises and, and putting these vlogs together. I know we're not professional filmmakers, so they're not always the best uh, quality in anything, but we try really hard, and I really, really appreciate the fact that anybody watches them. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye.